Alright, baby. Let's ride. So today, so today I'm heading on over to Kawasaki Leisure Bikes, Makati, along with Dia. To finally have my Z1000R serviced. Nothing much, just an oil change, but it's been long overdue. I should have taken her for her oil change about a few months ago, two or even three months ago, maybe even four months. It's just that I've been so busy at work. When I when I got my bike, things at work things at work weren't as hectic or as heavy as they were now. I mean, I only needed to go to work from Tuesday to Friday, and pretty much have a three-day weekend, free on Mondays, free on Saturdays, and I could have taken her anytime during those days for her oil change but but then my schedule changed and now things at work are pretty hectic as I mentioned and workload is quite on the heavy side and I have to go to work from Mondays all the way to Saturdays and not much free time if I want to have something done, say, for example here, take my bike to be serviced, take my bike in for an oil change and such, I'm gonna have to take a day off or an afternoon off just to get it done. So, I've been putting it off getting my V1000 hour serviced. But today, I found myself free on Saturday and pretty much free. So I decided to finally get off my lazy ass and take my bike to Kawasaki Leisure Bikes, Makati. Yeah. So here I am, just riding along the expressway particular along Skyway nice day for a ride as you can see I am not really gunning it just going with the flow of the traffic staying well within the speed limit well maybe just a little above the speed limit just to go with the flow of the traffic <laughs> As I mentioned before, I have, uh, as I had repeatedly mentioned before, I am not really much for, of a speed demon, so 100 kilometers per hour, that's pretty much good for me. 110, 120, it's good, still good for me, but above that, the bike is wheeling, but man, the spirit is not. <laughs> Just the feel of the wind striking me at those speeds, at, at speeds higher than 120 kilometers per hour. The feel of the wind on my skin, on my face, on my chest. Just sense. Just worries me to no end, man. I mean, my heart just can't take it. <laughs> yeah. Well, probably if I keep at it and just doing it and doing it and doing it, I suppose, I'll eventually be able to increase my tolerance all the way up to maybe 130, 150, or even 150 kilometers per hour. But 200 kilometers per hour, ah, forget about it. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, here we are. Just getting off the skyway, going into towards the Duendia intersection, and taking my bike in for an oil change and such.
when I got to the shop, when I got to Kawasaki Leisure Bikes, Makati, there was a bike ahead of me and I had to wait an hour or a couple of hours to get my turn. And when I finally had my turn, it was just an easy service. I mean, it's only an oil change. And the mechanics checked her out. Thankfully, no problems. Just an oil change. <laughs> yeah. Routine, service, and all that. While I was at Kawasaki Leisure Bikes Makati, I figured I might as well do some other stuff. And I went and ordered some stuff, some items for my Z250 SL. You'll recall that my Z250 SL had problems with her radiator fan, so I went and ordered a new one. And while I'm at it, I also ordered an air an air filter element for my Z250 SL, as well as a clutch cable and oil seals and dust cover for the front fork suspension. I mean, no problems yet with my clutch cable and my front fork suspension, but my bike's already, my Z250 SL's already more than three years old, so it's good to have those things on hand. The moment problems show up, I'll have the parts ready for repairing my bike. Yeah. I also got renewed the insurance for my Z1000R. I mean, it's good to have insurance. You never know what's going to happen. Knock and wood and all that. <laughs> yeah. It's really good, man, that I... That I'm free for the day, I mean, even though it's just a routine oil change, still took all, well, all morning, and a couple of hours in the afternoon, all in all around three to four hours, that's already including the time that I waited for my turn. So it's good that I'm free, not in any hurry and all that. With my bike service, with my with my bike's oil change done, I headed on over home. So it's back to the Skyway. I suppose I could have taken the opportunity to just ride around the metro, maybe even ride a little bit outside of Metro Manila, I mean the Skyway, the Expressway, I could have headed over to Petron along South Superhighway or Total South Superhighway, the usual hangouts for bike riders, but I had some stuff to do. Uh, I still have some stuff to do, I mean. So I headed on over home. Just like this morning, traffic was quite light. Such a pleasurable ride, and it's a great day, great weather. Man, I have a short ride as it was. I had a great time. <laughs> yeah. There was a little bit of an incident during this ride, ride home, the stupid idiot that I am, I mean, it's not often that I ride the skyway, so I kind of missed my exit, I was supposed to 
take the Tikutan exit and then from there towards Doña Soledad and then from Doña Soledad to my house but kind of misinterpreted the signs on the road so I was on the wrong lane when the Bikutan exit came up I suppose I could have forced it and just swerved into the lane towards the exit but that's kinda reckless so I decided to just push on through continue on along highway and just take the next exit Sukhat exit it's not much of an incident as incident goes I know but for me and that's a highlight that I can talk about and then laugh about I mean it's a stupid mistake one that I won't make again to be sure <laughs> I mean if traffic along Doña Soledad was bound to be terrible, traffic along Sukat Road was even more, was even worse, man, even worse. As light as the traffic was on the Skyway, it was quite the opposite on Sukat Road. Still, I had a great time, it's a great weather for riding. And for once, I was able to use my V1000R for a longer longer ride than I usually take her. Yeah, sadly, because of my hectic schedule, work schedule, wasn't, I wasn't able to take her for long rides that I would have if my schedule was just like before. Hopefully, this hectic schedule at work won't last any longer and it will change back to the way it was and I'll be able to put more, more kilometers on my V1000R well, much more than I had in the recent times in the past few months or so Well, we'll see Well, that's it for now until next time, keep on riding on, baby!